Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pani Madhuri. I am a consultant in reproductive medicine and endoscopic surgery at Matutva Fertility Center, Kormangla, Bangalore. Polycystic ovaries, as I said, is a spectrum of disease wherein the most important component is an imbalance between the male and the female kind of hormones in women. Now, women also produce some amount of male hormones, which is not really known to a lot of people. But when these hormones are in excess, as compared to the female hormones, this condition is known as hyperandrogenism. This is what is precisely responsible for this depiction called polycystic ovaries. Now, why do these women have increased androgens? The cause is really unknown. It can be just a mild hormonal imbalance because of lack of physical activity, improper dietary habits, etc. Or it can also be because of a condition because of hyperinsulinemia. Now, whenever there is insulin resistance in the body, androgen levels, that is the male kind of hormones in the females, tend to be on the higher side. And which is why, because of the increased male hormones, there are formation of small cysts in the ovaries, which are called polycystic atom in the ovaries because of which there is no egg release that is happening every month in the proper fashion. Now when there is no egg release that happens, there is no ovulation and that's why there are no regular menses. So classically these patients have irregular menses and also signs of increased antigens which can be hoarseness of the voice or acne or increased facial hair, body hair, etc. And they also have a tendency to put on weight. Very rarely, polycystic ovaries also has a genetic etiology. That is, this condition could run in families and uh, usually uh, it is seen more in women whose parent, a mother or sister also has an increased incidence of polycystic ovaries.